What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am of course CM Puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. Well, we're back from Thanksgiving holidays. I hope everyone had a good holiday. Mine was uh, mine was pretty good. We, we had a good time on Thursday and then uh, Friday was my wedding anniversary. So wife and I, dinner, movie, other stuff. And then um, Saturday went to a car show. It was all good. We had fun. So um, here we are. July 2020 and the third week. Meet with Todd. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Let's see. It's been a while since we've played my career. Win the match. You get four attribute points. I think we have attribute points to spend. No, we don't. Okay. Well, let's go see what... I think because we currently have a side quest, this is going to tell us to kind of buzz off. Yeah. I figured that. Well, let's go win our match. Um, it looks like... Let me see. Somebody explained it to me a little better when I canceled it last time. Current week. Total, this is a four-week side quest. And we're in the first week here. Let's see. Is Steph in her office? She is. She's going to tell us to, to buzz off again, I'm sure. I've heard some rumblings that you want to go for a different title. Is that true? Which one is it? Okay. I own all of these titles. So no change. Thank you, though. So you just wasted my time. <laughs> well, ob obviously... I mean, we own all the titles on Raw. Universal Champion, Intercontinental Champion... And tag team champion with Bray Wyatt. Look at that. Randy Orton is the SmackDown champion. Maybe we'll head over to SmackDown. But I kind of want to see what... And I need the attribute points. So I kind of want to see what this entails. So let's go hit up Todd. And he can tell us to look at the card. Yep. Let's see what's on the card. We might start burning through this stuff. So we're... Oh, jeez. We're facing Akam. Boy, R.I.P. to this whole crew. Brock Lesnar's going to rip them apart. Uh, let's see. Eh. No. Wow. Big Show versus Finn Balor, huh? And Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. That's a good match. So I'm going to play this match against Akam, but I'm going to skip a lot of it. We'll come in right at the tail end. This doesn't seem like it's a very important match. So unless something interesting happens... We'll skip to the last, oh, I don't know, minute, two minutes of it and see what happens there. To have a seat. He is a one-man gang in there. All right, guys. Um, as you can see, Akam is uh, pretty jacked up. We are, we pretty much did what we wanted to with Akam here. Um, we brought in a sledgehammer at one point and we brought in, you saw the ref just take Looking out the chair. The um, Alicia Fox doing her managerial duties and um, distracting the ref to a point where we could we could use those weapons. Oh, the, oh man, I forgot we had that move. Nice. And then of course, we got to finish it out with the Puma Gree. And done. Done. All right, let's get the pin on Akam here. That's got to be it, right? I mean, we just beat the hell out of this dude. That's it. That's it. Quick and dirty. Just like your boy likes it. All right, pretty uh, unimportant match, but... Uh, Let's head back out, see what's going on backstage. All right, so it says to talk to the parking lot attendant. Todd is nowhere to be found. Anybody interesting in here? No, just stupid Mick. There's Paul. He's going to say something about money, money, money. So at this point here in my career, we're, oh, man, we're kind of stuck. I think we're stuck. But let's see. We'll head into the next week here and see what the... What's in store for Puma? All right, here we are, the fourth week, right before the pay-per-view. Anybody interesting out here? No. Mark Henry going to tell us about his crazy uncle. Um, and something I noticed that I thought was interesting. Come on. Come on. 
Um, when it shows us here, it shows us as the Intercontinental Champion. It doesn't show us as Universal Champion. So that is kind of throwing me a little bit because that makes me think we're going to be facing off against possibly Enzo for the Intercontinental Championship just because he's there as our rival. Um, not sure why, but let's see here. Our side quest, still the same. Second week in a total of four weeks, which sucks because we have this week and then the pay-per-view. So I don't, mm, I don't know what's going to happen here. Who's down here? No Renee, because we're in a rivalry at the moment. We could talk to Stephanie about titles again if she's in there. Well, maybe we can... No, let's finish out our week. I was going to say maybe we can switch over to SmackDown. We'll probably... We'll, we'll switch to SmackDown um, once we finish this rivalry. How about that? We'll see what happens about all the titles with all of our titles if we move over to SmackDown. So who are we fighting? If it's a someone decent, Finn Balor. Okay. We will watch this whole match. Uh, oh, oh, Epico. The Miz and Bobby Roode, that'd probably be a good match. All right, let's face Nev. Uh, I saw Neville. Let's face Finn Balor right now on Raw. Here we go. Let's take on Finn right now. Oh, he backed up. And nope, didn't back up that time. Back out. Catch a kick to the face, and we're going to end this one. Because we'll, if we can end this one fairly quickly, we will do the uh, pay-per-view as well. Oh, nice. Nice stand-up. Well, okay, don't stand up. We'll just come in and drop the elbow on you. Like we're Macho Man Randy Savage or Kerry Sane, son. Uh-oh. Oh, man, we, he caught a knee to the back of the head. Jeez. And, and at this, okay. I was just about to say right now, Finn's not doing anything. But we've got everything under control here. Bang, Pele kick. Nice move there. Oh, I didn't mean to do it a second time. We haven't played my career in a while. Uh, we haven't played with this version of Puma in a while. So, yeah. Elbows and kicks and knee to the face. Not what I wanted. But, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Stand up, Finn. Bad move there. Oh, we went for a blockbuster and homeboy moved. Get out of here. Elbow. I mean, uh, forearm. Catching all the shots. And here's a new move that we just added as we unlocked it playing Road to Glory. The handspring cutter. And a flipping senton. It looked like we hit it. Oh, Puma's fired up. Come on, come on. Yep, take a few steps back. Roll it out. Bam. Nice. Oh, he's, he's sitting weird. Wolf Frog Splash is full anyway. I don't care. That's right. I kind of want to do that blockbuster now. So stand up, Phineas. Phineas Ferb. Phineas and Ferb? Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, get kicked. And follow that thing up with a huge blockbuster. Very nice. And get back in the corner because it's time for the signature. And... Uh, shot to the stomach. We're going for it, boys and girls. Barrage super kicks. Uh, follow it up. One more. Bam. Hells to the yeah. And you know what? Just because two and a half stars isn't that great. Too far. Okay. Went for the forearm. I thought we had the... The springboard Hurricane Rana, and I was wrong. Finn Balor, though, he's got a comeback. We gotta, we gotta keep an eye on that. Right in the face of Finn Balor. Uh oh, shoot! Whoa, whoa! He's got the heel hook, and I went right into him here. Get! Oh man, kick a fool right in his face! I will kick a dude right in his. Face, all right. No, get out. Oh, we're not getting out. Come on, man. Come on, Puma. What are you doing? Not today. Get out of here. Take a weird clothesline. And that as well. 
Oh, oh okay. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm just pushing all the buttons now, and none of it matters. None of it matters. Okay. He's going for that shotgun drop kick. Too fast. Shoot! We still haven't unlocked catching finisher, which would be fantastic. Oh, I thought he was going way the other way. All right, I feel you, Finn. I feel you going for it here. Oh. Yeah. How about that? How do you feel about that, Finn? What? We tried to pull him down and do something, and he reversed it. That's weird. That was weird. That was a weird reversal. I've never seen that one before. Ah. Uh. Okay. Boy, if you don't get off me. Oh. Nice fireman's carry reversal. Finn pulling Puma up now by his head. And too late, and we catch a Pele kick to the side of the head and in just perfect position, apparently, for, oh boy, the coup de gras. Here it comes. And no. Boy, don't you know anything and who I am? Catch this Puma Gree. Boom! Heck yeah. We're not done, though. Now, son. Not done yet, though. Okay. Oof! Okay. We just we just caught a code breaker. And... Come on, now. What's he doing? Nothing. You're doing nothing, Finn. Time to end it. And bang! Flipping power bomb, and we get it. We sneak out the win. That one, wasn't, that one didn't last too long. That one didn't last too long. So we'll head into the pay per view and uh, and see what's going on there. Like I said, I think we're going to be facing Enzo Amore for the Intercontinental Championship. All right, let's go out to the parking lot. We'll end it right here. Oh, there's Steph. We'll talk, we'd talk to her, but she'd tell us to screw off. She's super pissed, and you don't want to be a part of what she's got going on. There's old creepy bit Bray Wyatt as our tag partner. I, I wish they would acknowledge the fact that he is your tag partner. I've been in the WWE for quite a while, yet I remain untainted. I remain pure. What will turn you into the dirty man that your destiny demands? I've heard all your nonsense, Bray. We're tag team partners. We travel together for crying out loud. Go get my car. Let's head to the pay-per-view. Monthly pay-per-view. Let's see where we're at here. I don't even know what pay-per-view this is. What do we have here? Battleground. So this is the third week, and we're only going to get 160 influence. Man, that's a long time with do for doing a a uh, a freaking side quest. And it taking that long, and you're only getting that little bit of VC and influence and all that. I understand the attribute points. I get that part. But the rest of it, too much. All right, let's see who we're facing. We hold all the titles, so I'm assuming we're going to have a title match. <laughs> Holy cow. Jeez. That is serious. So we got American Alpha taking on the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Titles. The weirdest triple threat ever. Um, okay. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson take on the Ascension. Scott Dawson versus Mark Henry. That would probably be a good match. Jericho and Ty Dillinger. We got... Uh, what am I saying? I almost said CM Punk for some reason. John Cena versus uh, Randy Orton for the United States Championship. Oh my gosh. We have to face Brock Lesnar for the Intercontinental Championship, but let's do it, I guess. We're going to show these fools that we're number one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship.
A big time Intercontinental Championship match coming up next, guys. Cole, I don't mean to overstate things, but I get the feeling that this one we're going to be talking about for years to come. Well, guys, the champ is certainly going to have his hands full tonight. Yeah, but I don't think he's too concerned, Cole. He's used to a higher level of competition. This is just another day at the office for the champ. atmosphere inside this arena right now as we get ready for Intercontinental Championship action. Well, I just wish all the people at home could experience this right now. It's unlike anything I've witnessed in quite some time. Well, Byron, this is it. This is the match we've been waiting for. He's worked so hard to get to this point, Michael, and for his sake, I hope he's ready because I assure you, these opportunities don't come around very often. guys here we go i don't think we've ever actually seen uh puma puma's entrance like that i don't think we've ever actually seen it but we're seeing it now and we are facing brock lesnar for the intercontinental championship can we retain a real brock take us to suplex city let's find out come on now we're gonna start this oh Nope, you can't run at me, Brock. You're going to find that out in a hurry. Now, here's the deal. Brock is a heavyweight, and we are quite small. So I don't think we're going to be able to do, well, well, much of any of our moves just because we won't be able to pick him up. Oof. Oh, okay, quick. He's trying to get out of this match in a hurry. But that ain't happening, Brock. Uh-oh. Shoot. What we expect from him in this he might match. he might win. No doubt about oh, and he hangs us on the top rope. Everything. Puma Time bouncing onto the, the floor below. Can take the Look, and no, Puma's going to hit Brock Lesnar with a shot to the gut. To the Bend the knee. To the Bend the, the knee, Brock. Come on, man, now. Stand up and face me. Face me, you coward. We go for <laughs> we go for a blockbuster, and it, it does not it doesn't work. Don't don't do that. And another Hurricane Rana from CM Puma, and we are just nonstop right now. Brock doesn't have an answer for anything. It looks like, and oh, back body drop, hammer hammerlock, back body drop. Brock with a reversal into a clothesline, criminy. 
And can we get, no, what's Brock doing? Oh my goodness. A shot to the back, double axe handle. But Puma gets out of the way. And immediately starts going to the elbows and the knees. Knee to the face. Nice move there by Puma. Up and a, geez, we just skimmed across the top of Brock Lesnar. Holy cow, that probably didn't feel good at all. Up and down with that elbow drop. Very nice move. And Brock is already feeling it, man. Brock's feeling it already. Going at it again. You can't duck them all, Brock. You can't duck them all. And a flip, bang. Here we go. Here we go. Up to the second rope. Phoenix splash, jeez. Get up. Man, we are putting a beating on Brock Lesnar. This boy don't have a chance. Into the corner. And we go at him. Here they come. We just saw this with Finn Balor. One side up to the other. Those barrage super kicks. Bang. You know what we're going to do? We're going to come out here. We're going to get a chair. And we're going to get back in the ring. And we're going to have Alicia Fox. What you doing? Come on, ref. What if I try to get, give me this? When we talk about oh my gosh, we're talking we got about an negative 500 for that. Every level of Holy cow. An that uh, took away from our star rating, that's for sure. There's nothing left. Brock with the deadlift. And, nice job by Brock oh Lesnar. man, into a and side into slam. Jeez, Smart we're going to scoot out here. Brock's going to follow us. Oh, come on. He's and on the face down. first into the apron. Good night. Wait a minute. That's no good. Oh heck yeah! Thank you, baby. And we're gonna we're gonna do a little taunt. Down goes the referee. And just, and just for him to get kicked in, the wall, the ref too. Somebody's uh. Byron Brock there we go. Get up. It's that simple. The beast is a Come on now, whip specimen. him around, Puma. Bang! Super we'll kick. Look, heck yeah! No and we're gonna stand up, old Brock Lesnar. Come on now, bro. It's before. time. You You're about to kick Brock that Lesnar Puma poor. Whoa, that, that came out weird. Puma forearm. We're gonna try this chair thing again. Oh, okay. We're just gonna get the baseball bat now. Okay, why can't I get in? There we go. Well, Brock coming over to the side here. Ref's gonna take the. Oh, jeez. I guess that's what we get for. Trying to uh, cheat. Got a problem here, guys. Brock, though, has got us onto the, onto the top turnbuckle now. What's he doing? Oh, man. Oh, man. Jeez, I thought he was going to do some kind of Hurricane Rana thing. The but a top rope. Butterfly suplex. So Good Lord. That, pro, that Oh, man. The Puma's insides are a mess. And he still manages to kick out at one. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. That, my friends, very good for is the right true now. beast. And, it's reversed. and no, Puma throws throws him off no him right into a Pele kick. Very nice. Very nice move there from CM Puma. Made him pay there. Jeez, went for a kick to the stomach and into a backbreaker, though. And a second one, good lordy. Looks to me, guys, like the champ Puma has no plans on losing the title Can't do soon. anything. He's stuck in the corner. Brock Lesnar seems to be winded. Can he do it and he goes for the pin. No. And a two count. CM Puma kicks out at two. What's Brock Someone got on his mind the, now? The Dragging him out. Hands, Slamming the arm sure to of CM Puma that. down to the mat. Holy Toledo. And again. He looks for it once again. Oh, the forearms going at it. Bouncing off the ropes and into a huge clothesline. CM Puma is not messing around now. And again, going for those body shots. Oof, big knee to the face. He is relentless here. And again. Poof. 
Kinsha, Kinshashi. I don't even know what I'm saying. Brock Lesnar with the reversal, though. Fireman's carry. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to get out. We're getting out because Brock is gearing up for something. Come on, Brock. And Alicia Fox is over there. Brock's confused. Huge clothesline, though, from C and Puma. And I think it's time. Into a pedigree. Puma agree. Bang. And Brock Lesnar's busted open and bleeding. Holy cow. Stand up, Brock. Is this time to put an end to you right now? Blood all over his face. The ref gets down to count. And holy cow. See, see and Puma doesn't understand what he's got to do to put down the beast. Here we go. Shoulder block after shoulder block, and Brock Lesnar throws Puma over the top rope, who quickly climbs to the top Somebody turnbuckle. Double axe handle. That's right. That's right. This might be and Puma fires him up. Elbow at shot after a elbow second. shot. Close Big clothesline by CM Puma. Oh, man. This has got to be it, right? Puma hits this. Brock Lesnar's done for. Brock Lesnar's done for. Nice flipping power bomb. The ref gets down to count. And Brock Lesnar kicks out at two again. Holy cow. Puma up to the top road again. Adios Mio. Right before jumping off for a frog splash, but Brock moves out of the way. Is a beast in every way you can imagine. And and Puma might have angered the beast nice here. Puma might have angered the beast as he hooks him up. Reverse suplex. Good lordy. Uh-oh. Brock's asking Puma to get up to his feet. And no. Puma gets out of it. And oh man, he went for those elbows. And it didn't work. Brock with that gut wrench suplex. And now look, just to working on seeing Puma's arm. Man, he almost pulled Puma up to his feet with that. But Puma able to get out of it. Shot to the stomach now. Uh oh. Into the corner goes Puma. And a nice reversal into a DDT. Holy cow. Showing very few signs of life Holy here. cow. Yeah, there's no way Puma's pulling Brock out the of the out. corner there. <coughs> it might be cliche, but it's Just so he can Puma Graham no. What is this? From Brock Lesnar, a power bomb. No. A second power bomb. Jeez, a third power bomb from Brock Lesnar. Oh my gosh. And Brock, look at this. Huge. Jeez, a fourth power bomb in a row. That is insanity. Good grief. Here we go. Puma tossed around and he gets dropped with the F5. Holy cow. Oh. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, we filled up the star meter with that one. Sheesh. Where are you at, Alicia Fox? Help your boy. Into a German suplex. This my goodness. Nothing no we can do right now. This opportunity. What's Brock got on his mind? Speed, pain no, Puma able to get out of it. Follows it up. Jeez Louise, buster. that was a huge move. We're right going now. up. Incoming. Puma hits the five star. Hits the five star, Puma's goes for the pin. Is that gonna put Brock Lesnar away? Oh my retains. goodness, it does. Retains. What a huge sequence of events. Oh my gosh. That was winner. insanity. Hell of a match, though, and CM Puma retains his Intercontinental Championship against Brock freaking Lesnar, of all people. Wow. And this, you know what? We're not done.
Give me the Intercontinental title. Brock, I need you to get up. We're, we got to put this down, apparently. Get up, Brock. And we're going to take this title. Ah, oh, right across the head of Brock Lesnar. He's looking at it. And now going full force at him. I'll be shocked if that Bang. Well, I gotta say that I'm and shocked. just I really to add insult to injury, Brock right on the Intercontinental Championship. You can see it there under his legs. Puma agree to Brock Lesnar on the outside. CM Puma taking no prisoners at Battleground. Well, here we go. Todd seems pretty happy with CM Puma after that. Not the best performance, but not your worst either. Boy, if I could fight Todd, I would... I'd put a beating on this dude. Okay, well, it looks like we've only got about one week left in our rivalry or in our uh, side quest, so let's finish out the side quest in the next video, and, um, and then we will hop over to SmackDown and see if anything interesting happens over there. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're not, and come back to the channel. I'll see you soon.